Dino Charge competitors are about to see how far they can push the limits of car and man. Out of these 62 teams, a few will roll their cars, many will have breakdowns, and some will just give up as they compete in the world's wildest competition that pushes man and car to the extreme in a conservation effort like no other. The Rhino Charge event has become synonymous with a special form of Kenyan madness and determination. For the past 23 years, these men, women and their machines have raised millions to build the Aberdare Mountain Ecosystem Electric Fence, which now protects one of Kenya's most critical water towers. The 400-kilometer Aberdare Fence was completed in 2009. The Aberdares is one of five main water towers in Kenya that must urgently be protected. The term water tower literally means a mountain or mountain range that attracts and generates rainfall and is the source of rivers and lakes. Kenya's water towers provide most of the freshwater resources for the entire country. Mount Kenya, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and Mount Eburu, part of the Mao complex are the next to be fenced. 2012 launched the start of both fence lines which will take about five years to construct and it's up to the charges to come up with millions needed to build them. Every year the Rhino charge is held in a new location at the beginning of June. This year it's Ilinguesi in northern Kenya, a remote place known for its elephant herds and rough terrain. The teams have arrived and convened for scrutineering where cars are fitted with GPSs and inspected by officials for safety. Some volunteer officials have been part of the charge for over two decades. As an official, it requires dedication, a sense of purpose, a team which is single-minded, good leadership, and the ability to find these fantastic places. Every one of these guys comes out here would never ever have come to this area had he not been invited or been taken part in, in a runner church. Every team must raise a substantial amount of money to even enter the charge, and spaces are limited. The money pledged goes directly to Rhino Ark and the building and maintenance of the fences. And finally, it's time to charge. Cars go their separate ways as they follow their own course. There are many traps waiting. Meanwhile, cars are also starting at the Greensteads checkpoint. Everyone seems to want to take the same path. But it looks like car 56 is having problems already. Car 29, in usual form, overtakes leaving 56 behind. The first breakdown of the day and the charge only just started. While car 56 is immobilized, car 48 is coming into Greensteads at the rate of knots. Next, we're going to Brookhouse. I told you, yeah, over that way there. The valley between Greensteads and Brookhouse is full of obstacles. This rock riverbed is just one of them. Most teams will try to avoid crossing it if they can, like car 61 coming in over the hill. 
but the shortest distance between the two checkpoints is over the riverbed. And even shorter is a bottleneck, further down that can destroy a car in seconds. Team 48 decides to attempt a higher crossing. The beauty of a modified car with clearance is illustrated here. By strategically placing their tires using rocks as ramps, Team 48 dances across in no time. Further down the river, Team 17 finds themselves right at the bottleneck. Well, until here we were doing pretty well, but I think we're going to be snagged unless we can... We haven't done enough checkpoints. This unmodified land cruiser doesn't have a lot of clearance, but it is light. To get through the charge in an unmodified car takes real teamwork and incredible bush skills. Over the riverbed, but now straight into the bottleneck. Doesn't matter, they are not about to give up. They are the first team to attempt this. It's all or nothing for these girls. Good fun, but we're late now, so we've got to go. Bye, you've had enough. Go, go. As car 17 gets on to their next checkpoint, Team USA has just arrived. Challenging, very challenging. You know, crossing a lot of these rivers in between, uh, you know, very rocky. It's not easy. You've got to take it very slowly. It's mid-morning now, and things are happening. The gauntlet. The gauntlet comprises several closely placed checkpoints in a difficult area. If you can't make it through the gauntlet, you're not going to win. While car number two is laying on its side, everyone else is trying their best to stay upright. aggravation between everyone but uh, it's the beginning everyone's getting tired now so there won't be any aggravation <laughs> in the middle of all the action it's easy to forget why the rhino charge exists but without the charges Kenya's water towers would not be protected 